In this video, I am going to explain fill wave rectifier with and without filters. Aim of this experiment is to study the fill wave rectifier with and without filters and to find its ripple factor, efficiency and ratio of rectification. Equipment required here are this uh, fill wave trainer kit and two multimeters. One multimeter is used as ammeter and one multimeter will be used as voltmeter. And this meter we are going to use here as voltmeter. So red uh, uh, cord is connected to this old and black one is connected to com and this meter is going to use as ammeter and this is connected to milliamps and this is common let's see full wave rectifier connections without filter first transformer section so transformer section and, and on the trainer kit you can see this is a full wave rectifier section and this is transformer section so this is the connection yes next full wave rectifier output will be given to positive of ammeter and negative of ammeter goes to load here you can see this is load section and this ground point is shorted here and across the load will be placing voltmeter voltmeter positive voltmeter negative this is full wave rectifier without filters you can see here these two are connected these two are shorted and these two are shorted and full wave rectifier has two diodes d1 and d2 and this point is given to ammeter positive and this is ammeter negative and here we have one terminal this is shorted to ground here and across load this is load resistor and across load we have voltmeter this is positive negative to note down the readings we take help of this tabular column we will note down the readings of VAC, VDC, IAC, IDC for full load condition full load condition is RL equal to 0 so RL equal to 0 means make this potentiometer completely anti-clockwise it indicates full load and for no load condition you need to note down the values of VAC, VDC, IAC, IDC and you have to verify the readings here this is full load condition you can see here this is IDC value because this is IDC and this is VAC based on this symbol you can identify which value is it this is AC and this indicates DC okay next if you want no load potentiometer should be completely rotated to the right side and that is no load and note on the corresponding four readings then full wave rectifier with L filter connections remove all the connections hmm. and let these connections be as it is so this is shorted this is shorted this is shorted and output of this filter sorry output of this rectifier goes to L filter input and corresponding wires are short circuited and this is ammeter positive ammeter negative goes to load next voltmeter is connected in parallel with load these are the connections for full wave rectifier with L filter again here you need to take 8 readings for full load 4 readings VAC, VDC, IAC, IDC for no load you have to take 4 readings VAC, VDC, IAC, IDC next full wave rectifier with Pi filter let's keep this as it is because the voltmeter will be always placed in parallel and this connection is as it is and here this goes to now pi filter this is pi filter this is ammeter positive ammeter negative and these are short shorted this these are the connections of full wave rectifier with pi filter 
again here you have to note down four readings for full load four readings for no load so four readings are vac vdc iac idc and four readings are vac vdc iac idc after noting down this values we need one more value that is vrms vrms is voltage across secondary of the transformer you have to remove all the connections on the breadboard and you need to place the voltmeter across the secondary of the transformer and switch on the kit and this value will be ac value because we are noting down the voltage across secondary of the transformer and this value will be voltage uh, ac value whatever the value you get you have to note down this is vrms by using all the values we can calculate the related parameters